They are innovators, game changers, people pushing themselves, moving us all forward. They are the next scientists, musicians, poets, the next makers, dreamers, teachers, and geniuses. They are the next list. It is the manifestation of uh, our dream. The solar revolution starts right here, come on in. Joseph Abramowitz cannot sit still. The man in the t-shirt and sneakers is the leading force in building Israel's first solar field, creating a unique business model to get the job done. This will be the 40 megawatt solar field. I thought we were gonna build a solar field. Instead, we have to build the entire field of solar energy generation for Israel. Abramowitz co-founded Arava Power. It's the first company to sign a deal with the Israeli government for production of solar-generated electricity. It was a disruptive idea. He said, someone's got to bring solar energy to this place. And I was like, please, not you. <laughs> it will be the field with the best security in the whole world, because we have two armies guarding it. Whatever he can envision, he can then figure out how to make it happen. It's like so moving. Totally... If he can see it, he can do it. It's incredible. Like Baldock, he just put his teeth in something and doesn't give it up. Yosef and Arava Power have plans for 40 more energy products in Israel over the next three years. But the man, now dubbed Captain Sunshine, is setting his sights even higher. Rwanda, Galapagos, Romania, we hope to build fields uh, in all three of those countries. Even if Israel were 100% renewable, we wouldn't have saved the planet. So it has to scale. It has to scale today, because we're running out of time. Welcome to The Next List. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. We're um, in the industrial area of Kibbutz Ketura, a small ag agricultural community about 30 miles north of the port city of Eilat and uh, the first commercial solar field in Israel in the entire Middle East is right over there. The fate of humanity depends on what we do now when it comes to global warming. Every nation has to really wake up and not just talk about clean energies. The need to replace burning fossil fuels is, is, an, is a clear and imminent danger to the survival of our species and for so many other species. If you care about the future of the world, solar energy is part of that solution. I'm Yosef Abramowitz, co-founder of the Arava Power Company here in Israel. You can feel now the power of the sun. It's just obvious. It's just the most obvious thing in the world. I think there's two kinds of innovation. There's one that's the material innovation, an invention. I think there's another kind of innovation, and it's the innovation of ideas. And I think one of the things that we've been privileged to do is to innovate an idea, save the world through solar power. Hopefully this week we'll be hearing some news about Romania. We've brought together the elements of technology and finance and regulation with an overarching vision that here in Israel in particular, because 60% of our country is desert, that we can be the first major economy to transform from being carbon-based when it's being solar-based. The Arava Power Company is in the process of building nine more fields this year. It's a great ramp up and represents hope. Wait until they see a 40 megawatt field, then I think we get the acceleration and the scaling worldwide. We're a little country in a challenging neighborhood and we're so dependent on importing coal and gas and really bad diesel which we're probably buying on the spot market from our enemies, where we could really be self-sufficient with the, the power of the sun. 
That was an idea that hadn't bubbled up here among government leaders. This field here at Kibbutz Keturah is proof positive of what is actually possible. Coming up, a trip to the desert leads to a life-altering decision. It's a miracle that I ever came back to Keturah. <laughs> 